Hello, my name is Cole. The last G-Snap tutorial video that I did um, didn't turn out so well. The volume was a little bit unknown, I'm just going to say. Um, video quality was not the best. And so I'm going to make another tutorial. I'm going to try to make this one as simple as you can. So, you want to go to this page. Link will be in the description um, or annotation. Of course, if you're using a mobile device, you'll have to go to the one in the description. But since our Nancy can't work on a mobile device, I don't know why you would, but I'll put the link in the description anyways. So, what you want to do is you want to click this one. Download uh, GFST plugins for Mac for 32 and 64 of bit VST hosts. You want to download that. I've already downloaded it before, so I will not need to download it. What all you need to do is just click on this and this download file will appear in your downloads bar. Next, you want to open up a new finder window. Once you've done that, you want to click you want to go find this little bar up on here which will say your name and the time. You'll want to click on this little thing that says go. Next you want to click go to folder. Then in this little bar most likely you won't have anything. So what you want to do is you'll just want to do this squiggly line, I don't know what it's called, Sla slash, then you'll want to type in library, then go. Next, you will find this folder called application support. Once you're in this application support folder, you want to look around. To find your um, Audio Nancy or Audio City or Audacity for a folder. For this video, I'm just going to be calling it um, Audacity. Audacity. Mine is at the very bottom. Of course, there's also Audacity that I use. So, wait. Okay. Um. So basically, you'll just want to do what I just did. Of course, I'll do it slower for you. You want to go into the Audacity folder. Once you're in, you'll look at all these files. The only one that you want to move, click in is move, click, or delete. Not delete. This, the one you want to edit is plugins. Go into this plugins folder. Once you've done that, let me just delete this file. Once you've done that, you will down the you'll put this folder in. You are not done yet. You need to open this folder up. Then an application will come up, uh, your choice, uh, whatever you've sent it to, um, might be um, archi archive or what I'm using, um, rare dry uh, rare giant. But, um, you'll just want to delete this now. Then you'll have this folder, which you want to scroll to the bottom, or right, or we'll scroll close to the bottom, and find this thing that says G-Snap. You want to take that, and download that to your de- and drag that to your desktop. Okay, mine was- mine is right over here. Once you- done that you can go back to your plugins folder then you can uh, you can drag this uh, folder anywhere you want I already have one so I will move it to the trash you want to drag this gsnap.vst folder into your plugins folder then you'll want to open up Audac um, audacity So 
sorry I'm a little quiet right here. Um, okay, so it's right here. Once you open it, you'll come to this page. Then you'll click on Effect, Add slash Remove Plugins. Now you want to scroll down until you find something that says G Snap. I have two, but um, I have two already. But for you, you only have one. You'll on this state, it will say New. You click on it, then you click on Enable. Then it'll be enabled. Then you click OK. Now your G Snap, now your G Snap folder should be here. Okay. Please like, please like this video if you have liked it. Please dislike this video if you want to dislike it. Please subscribe to help the channel. Please subscribe to help the channel. If you want to see more posts by me, tutorials, uh, random videos, just anything, um, you want to click on that bell button next to subscribe. So you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.